What about Frank DeBoer? Ale, your guy, your guy, Frank DeBoer. <laughs> you know what the worst thing that I did in this tournament so far is believe in Frank DeBoer. Mm. See, he, he fooled me. I thought, hey, this, maybe this team is for real. Maybe they are flying through the group stage and maybe they've turned it around because now they're playing, they're attacking, they're open. Nope, 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 nope. When they played a team for real, all of a sudden, they got tentative. All of a sudden, they got passive. All of a sudden, this is a team that was no longer creating the chances that they were before. Yes, the Daniel Mallon uh, opportunity is a big moment in the game. But outside of that, tell me about a real good play in the mm. attack for the Netherlands in which you look at them and say, yeah, they're as dynamic as they were in the group stage. None of that. They went back to what they were before, which is passive and tentative. How much of the failures on DeBoer for you? I don't know. It's, it's tough. He's going to get hammered. Yeah, you know, of course he, didn't he play is. Play the four three three. Of course Everybody he is. Everybody wanted him to, and they go out in around a sixteen. But there are a few managers in this tournament who are being openly criticised for the way that they're sending their teams out. Mm -hmm. But if they would have gone on and won, then you but know. They but they didn't. They didn't. But, but they did. in this particular favorites. moment, you can talk about the red card. No. The red card is significant. And to be honest, me. Sammy and I were the same age, but in this moment, I'm fanboying because this is a guy that's won the World Cup. And the mm -hmm. thing which he said about the key thing in, in terms of knockouts is don't get a red card. I'd never even thought about that being something which you think about before going onto a field. Mm -hmm. So surely that matters if somebody who has won a World Cup says is a significant part of any particular game. Sammy, you were watching on the tactical cam. What did you see from the Czech Republic? So we have to also speak about the first half because there was 11 against 11 and uh, the Czech Republic analyze Netherlands quite well because they played one against one over the whole pitch. So the back three of, of Netherlands were protected by the three um, attacking line and Suchek um, was all the time with, uh, with uh, De Jong. So they have no opportunities to create, to come in. So it was static, no movements. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they maybe change with a four back and uh, put another, midf another defender in the midfield. So control more the game, more movements on the side. Um, yeah, for me, it was like a poor performance of, of the Netherlands today. Mm. You think De Boer keeps his job? I don't know his, how he's kept his job <laughs> right. this far, but... <laughs> how he got the job, I could almost question. That, that, Coming yes. off Atlanta United, yes. what we saw and here. failures that are well documented. Yeah. And yeah. so, how does he get to this position? He did, and it felt like this team was turning the corner. It felt like... It, Some of that looked, was who they were facing in the group, well, right? May, maybe so, but you can only evaluate from what you see. And what we saw from them is that, okay, there is something here. And yet, you didn't quite see the impact of, say, Vine Alden in, in the midfield, who was so very good in the group stage, not nearly as much on the ball today. Frankie de Jong and, and Sammy just addressed it, how, how little of an impact he had in the game. You cannot win a game if you don't have a shot on target. Right. And this is a knockout stage of a major competition. And if the Netherlands would have had to pick a team in which they would have had to match up against, Czech Republic would have been one of those options. Say, yeah, we'll take those guys. We're better than them. And yet they were not. So believing in the Netherlands was my mistake. My bad. Not doing that again. Yeah. Players have let themselves down today, too, as well, yeah? Yeah, of course, of course. As Sammy said there, you know, it wasn't the best performance by them. But then, you know, in the knockout stages of any competition, it's just small margins. I think we looked at a game yesterday between Italy and Austria, and everyone thought Italy were going to absolutely steamroll the Austrians. But ultimately, they didn't. And that shouldn't have been a surprise, really, because, you know, we've watched these tournaments so many times. And I think the teams that go make it all the way through, they find ways to win games. It's very rare that you'll see a team steamroll everybody all the way it's through. It's also the difference between elite, mm. real contenders, true contenders, and those that are pretenders. And the Netherlands fooled us all because they look great. And then you start saying, well, maybe who did they play? And were those teams good enough? And did those teams push them? Obviously not, not, not enough. I, I just didn't see enough today from the Netherlands to, to really convince me that this was a team that was going to go deep in this competition.